Hello everyone, this is Valence of Belsetus from Agacad and today I will show you how to create grout tubes and how to place them on precast concrete walls automatically. So for that I will create new family and I will choose metric generic model face based family template. So I will go to the left view and I will create a couple of reference planes. Then I will constrain them with a couple of dimension lines and parameters. Then I go to create sweep, sketch path. So I create two of them uh, and lock the ends to the reference planes. And then I will connect these uh, lines with a arc. So I would have some rounding here. Then I will edit profile of the sweep and draw just uh, two circles, which I will also control with some parameters. So for that, I will create parameters again. So finish the section finish the sweep and let's take a look how does it look from the side view seems to be pretty good now I'll try to change parameters and you'll see that actually rounding parameter is not really working the same way as I would like to work so I'll go here and I'll lock that parameter and now I will try to change the height again so now it seems to be okay. Alright, so let's change other parameter values. So we'll go to family types, create a uh, few more parameters like diameter and thickness of a grout tube. And let's just change these values uh, by adding a couple of formulas here. Alright, so I changed the diameter and also the distance to the side of the wall. So I'll make it 150 because my walls are 300 millimeter width. Alright, so it seems like everything's working. So I'll change a little bit this host size and I will also change category of this family. I will also add new type for it. And then I can save this family. So just give it a name. So just load it into the project. Click with your mouse on the wall face and it will be inserted and hosted on the wall. But I don't want to do that manually so I'll delete these and I will use Smart Connections tool to distribute them automatically. So for that I will go to Configurations and I will uh, choose Wall Category and create new configuration, rename it Crowd Tubes, then go to this tab because this one is for placing face-based details on the top or the bottom face of the wall. Here I will choose the family I have loaded so I can pick it from the list or from the family and type browser. So I'll find it under structural connection category. So let's pick this family. Select insert at the bottom, insert details, and then the layout rule, how it should be distributed. So by maximum spacing and some start and and offset values should be added here. In other direction it will be just in the center of the bottom face of the wall. So I'll save this configuration, click on OK and then just run it on a couple of selected walls. So just insert elements with selected configuration, insert and here you go. So I have these grout tubes now placed at the bottom of the walls. 
Uh, the only thing that I don't like here, this one is just going through my window. So I improve my configuration a little bit. So I'll click on modify, go here and I will add additional rule that I want to search for uh, top and bottom faces. So actually I will be looking for the solid depth. If there is enough space, this element will be crea created. If there is no space, this element will not be created. So I'll save it, update, and here you go. So the elements are not placed under the window. And uh, now I'll select different width of the walls and choose to insert grout tubes again. So what will happen is that uh, grout tube actually is just doesn't fit for different sizes of the wall. So I can create new types of uh, grout tubes, I can change some parameters, but I can also modify this family and add some special naming for parameter for this uh, distance to the wall edge. So for that I will create parameter with a special naming, so hash symbol in front and then the name of host parameter, so the wall. So I will read information from the width of the wall and uh, the software will overwrite this value with the value of the wall. So let's change this formula uh, of the distance to the wall edge. Click on, uh, sorry, it's, it has to be also instance parameters. So I'm just gonna change that again. Click on OK, load it into the project and overwrite. And now I will update actually all of them. And so the software will overwrite this value with the value from the wall. So that's why now this element just is extended to the side of the wall. So this is another feature of Smart Connections. You can automate that configuration even more by adding more families to be placed on precast walls like grout ducts, lifting embeds, blades or ferrules and automate your projects even more. AGA CAD, building BIM together.